people have said, as a nation, we've lost our identity. No, we haven't. I'm Neil, and this is History Herstory. Today, we're looking at a great invention. It was made during the British Industrial Revolution. Of course, I'm talking about metal. In 1666, a great fire ravaged through London. Many historians put the blame on King Charles II, who wanted to get rid of the old wooden rookety buildings and replace them with houses made of metal. In 1705, he finally got his wish. As the fire just about stopped, they started building houses of metal. And so began project Rebuild London from Metal. King Charles II would die before his dream came true. And next on the throne was King Graham of Lancaster, who hated metal. This is metal. This is metal. This is metal. But it's not all been success for metal. In 1945, metal was blamed for killing 20 million people in the Second World War. Disguised as bullets, metal went on a rampage of murder and destruction. <laughs> But what is this demagogious force? We need to know the who's, the what's, the when's, the why for's and the whatever's. So we've got an expert to tell us all about metal. I'm here with Steve and he's an expert on metal. Steve, can you tell us about the origins of metal? Yes, absolutely. I mean, um, I think it really uh, you have to date back to the year 1969, which would be um, the year that Black Sabbath performed and released their um, self titled debut album that really would be considered the first metal album. It spiralled and uh, branched off into many different sub-genres, uh, many different sub-genres, many different strands, the bombastic style, the, the death metal, the kind of grimy, uh, um, slow, um, in a studio with producers, much like any other kind of musical genre, you know, a soul or uh, R&B hip hop. Great, but, thanks Steve. Uh, well, I've learned a lot about metal today and I'm, I hope you have, I hope you have too. We take metal for granted these days, but look down, what are you sat on? It's probably made of metal. Look, metal! This is Downing Street, which witnessed the meridian of metal achievements. In 1979, Margaret Thatcher won a landslide general election to become the first Prime Minister to be made entirely of metal. The Iron Lady will govern for more than 12 years. Unfortunately, after leaving office, it was discovered she was made of wooden plywood. This is Monty, and he is made of 100% British metal. This has been History Herstory. Good night. This is metal!